Is it disrespect or is it misunderstanding? You know, there's just certain boundaries that we're supposed to have in partnerships, friendships. There's protocols. There's just things that you do and don't do. Unfortunately, we are in a time and a place where those lines have been very blurred. And no one really seems to know how far to push the envelope and when to stop. Constantly testing waters and seeing how far we can be disrespectful to the person that we decided to lay that, which is crazy, right? because why are you even being intimate with a person that you don't have any respect for in the first place? But I know you are pretty familiar with this one. Not too long ago on Jonathan Majors and an unfortunate string of events that came with someone that he was dating of the translucent community, which really didn't go well, causing him to lose out on some deals. Um, and it did just put another negative light on the black community, in my opinion, just off of being aggressive and our complexion always being noted as uh, scary or it gives the perception that we are constantly putting people on ease or lack thereof this one right now is a little different, but not. But I want to play this one for you so you got an understanding just in case you didn't see it. He's dating Megan Good now. I don't know how they came together, none of that. But this is what everybody is critiquing, making memes of, going back and forth over. And I wanted to get my thoughts on it. So Yeah, that's the video. Uh, let me talk to my my men and my women here, real quick. Mr. Majors, I doubt that you see this across this and watch. I want you to know something. Everything between 
her and Mr. Ely here could be looked at in a number of ways. If I'm dating a woman like that who has a career, a successful one, or a reasonably successful one, and she has her own name, her own brand, she's not really worried about really having too many options. And she doesn't do everything within her power here to make it very clear where the lines are drawn. That, hey, this is my significant other right here. We work together. We have a history. But there's a level of respect that has to be shown in front of my person. Nothing about this exchange to me gave me the impression that she has a certain level of admiration or respect for Jonathan Majors because no no solid dude in his right mind is, is going to just... Matter of fact, the mere presence of the, the, the boyfriend alone is supposed to make it where the woman doesn't even think twice. She's not doing this. That shit right there was extra. I don't care how long you've known him. I... You, you know what's, what's interesting about this? Because women know how to present a certain type of energy. They, they, they make it very clear. This is my personal space. And if I want you in my personal space, that means there's a certain level of trust there. We have a history, a connection. There's, there's something present here that allows me to welcome you in the way that she did with Mr. Ely here. We don't know if there was anything beyond this off camera before uh, Mr. Majors or not. I wouldn't be surprised. <clears throat> this is Hollywood. Everybody sleeps with everybody. But she got the one arm wrapped around him. He picks her up. He, he, he got his arms around the waist. It's not around the neck it's around the waist and there's certain hugs right we, we all there's certain hugs let me know if you can name all of them i know there's the church hug there's the 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 one arm hug where you, you kind of just side side hug the person but you don't fully go in You got the body to body hug where you wrap your arms all the way around the torso. Right? There's there's different levels of it. And all of them for me always showed me just exactly how a person may or may not feel about you. I don't know why celebrities can why do you stay in that market if jonathan majors is looking for someone who's going to be loyal to him respect and appreciate him 
I'm not thinking or under the impression that you're going to find that in Hollywood. They seem to prioritize hierarchy as a level of how much I'm going to love and I'm going to talk to a If you ain't making a certain level or you ain't at a certain status, that's going to really determine how much a person really honors you, you know, and men and women in 2024, they are just sad, man. This is it's fucking sad. It, looking at this video, I, I had to look at it a few times, rewind it, looking at that man's body language. He was uncomfortable. He was completely uncomfortable. It feels to me like he's out of his weight class in terms of uh, my impression is the type of woman he needs is going to be a little more less experienced. She's not going to be in front of the camera all the time. Because this right here shows me that this relationship is probably not going to last that long. And I only say that because while he was being professional and trying not to show any type of emotion or you know, any type of signs that he was bothered you could tell just by how he was fidgeting around with his stuff you know damn well bro you know damn well you ain't need to adjust nothing on that whatever jacket vest thingy you got on with the i'm about to go hiking for two weeks into the woods outfit you you know damn well you ain't need to adjust shit he was messing around with that stuff because that shit irritated your soul. You was pissed. And you know damn well that out of everyone that is in that lineup, you're probably the one that is the least respected up there in front of that camera. Let's just call it spade a spade. Now, if the roles were reversed. Everybody would be siding with her, with her. Nobody would have an issue with nothing that she's doing here. The the thing here is like is a number of ways we can look at this. Are women supporting this? Why are they supporting this? Why don't they see anything wrong with this? Do they see anything wrong with this? The the hypocrisy behind it, right? Because let a guy be in this position. He's sleeping on the couch. He ain't getting none in a week or two. She might be mentally checked out ready to go break up the relationship and move on because she couldn't handle him even looking at her or having a conversation with another woman but this is an entirely different scenario it's, it's on him so he's a clown he's a fool he's a goof he's all these different things and even right now i scroll through a lot of these comments that people are making up here and the shit is ridiculous. Folks be saying anything out of their ass, man. I don't think this is his, his lane. I think he needs to uh, dig down or, or get out of Hollywood his track record with women in Hollywood 
It's not good. Hell, I don't think any relationship in Hollywood has a great track record in Hollywood at all, if I'm being completely frank. Michael Ely is a dickhead disguised as a assertive, strong black male who basically is marking his territory in front of another man's face, disguising it as if they're just co-workers. Real dudes know you don't do shit like this unless you're trying to make a statement or a point. His perception of Jonathan Majors said everything I needed to know here in this video. I can't be convinced otherwise. And so what's going to end up happening, it's just a matter of time before this weighs on them and weighs on them or there might be another incident or there might be something that happens behind closed doors they spread in social media again and they're going to plaster his face all over again and it's un it's unfortunate that we've we've gotten this screwed up man and dealing with dr Drew. she know damn well that she should have carried herself and respected that relationship a lot more than what she did here. And if I'm him, I'm looking at her and this, and I'm making my exit. I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think about that in the comment section. I just don't, I don't understand. I don't understand y'all, man.